Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm working on a project today. I have, I'm going to do another mosaic frame, but I'm going to be using the Tim Holtz fragments. I have had this for a while. I'm per, I think I got it on clearance at Joann's. My Joann's just totally changed everything around, and they have don't have very much scrapbooking stuff anymore, and I think, I think that's when I got this. Um, it contains how many 34 tiles and the tiles look like this they're just you know plastic and they come in oh my iced coffee's squeaking at me uh, they come in uh, a couple of different sizes so you have long ones short ones I'm gonna move this over I just painted the frame and I'm actually really liking I just painted the bare wood with um, where is it my brown I can't find it anyway I think oh it's right under here it's called light cinnamon and I did both sides um, but it's looking kind of washy and I'm liking that like you can see the wood grain underneath because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this burlap paper now I got this it's just a I think a six by six pad um, Oh, here it is. And I don't even have the um, cover to it. Um, but it's a 6x6 six six pad, so it's like got paper, or it's the burlap has paper attached to it. Because I have burlap like this, and if this was a tiny bit wider, that would look really cool. But I think I'm going to use the paper. So I've cut it into 2-inch strips, and I'm going to glue it leaving some of the brown showing I think I'm gonna do like um, do some dry brushing in my gold metallic too on the underneath because this is what you're gonna see underneath the tiles so it'll be like this um, you know I'll cut everything to fit and I was thinking I would put something on the edges but I don't think I'm gonna do that now um, so I'm going to show you real quick what I do to make these tiles. So that's kind of what the frame is going to look like underneath. And then there's going to be a bunch of tiles. Um, I don't know that I'm, I think I might leave um, blank spaces too. I'm not sure. I'm going to see how it comes together. Um, but my thought is... Um, so I think, babe, where do you, are you going to walk her? I'm going to put some laundry in. Okay. All right, because I'll be done this in a minute. Okay. So I've glued a bunch of, this is, I use two different, um, Tim Holtz stacks, Wallflower and Crowded Attic. Um, and I just took the tiles like this. And I just find a piece that I like. What was I going to do on here? I think I'm going to put, I'll zoom in a little bit. And I just use my Glossy Accents by Ranger and put a little bit on the tile. You don't need a lot. Just, you know, enough to go. And you push down pretty hard and it kind of squeezes the, um, the glue to the edges of the tile. So you push down. And a lot of the time it squeezes out, so that's okay. But I have this little, I don't know, she's just a lady with a dog. and I think it's a nursery rhyme character. I can't really tell. It's small. But I'm going to use that. And then just set it aside to dry. I'm going to do this one. I want these flowers. So I'm just going to do the same thing. And I kind of wipe them off, but I don't really. Because, I mean, they're, they're a little bit scratched up. Not too bad, though. This is actually probably going to squish out more than I wanted it to. So this is from Wallflower, this little section of um, paper. And I just push down and just set it aside to dry. And I'm going to use this little piece of map. And I'm going to do the United States. Oops. Kind of went off there a little bit. Um, I think I did a bigger one of Australia. Because these Tim Holtz paper stacks are cool because the designs 
come in several different sizes like he has a big page with just maybe one whole page of a map is the whole big page then I'll do it in fours so I'll have a fourth size of a map and then I'll do it in you know a bunch of different sizes so that's great for this type of thing because you can get um, close up for or big or I don't know what I'm trying to say you know what I'm trying to say all right so those have to dry I'm just gonna wipe off my uh, glossy accents and then all you do when you want to make your towel see some of these have been sitting longer I know this this actually one has been sitting the longest so and and this might not be this might be from a different stack I only have a couple of stacks of his um, paper crap paper line and I'm gonna take I'm not gonna use my fancy scissors let's use these am I in the shot and I just cut away the excess paper and it doesn't have to be perfect because they're getting glued down to uh, so that'll be a tile and there's another well I just did let me let me try I know I have ones that have been drying longer than others I have a whole stack of them here on different pieces of paper um, I think I'll try these I think the birdies have been drying for a while I have glue on the top and it's water-based glue so you can get it off just give it a rub I'm not the neatest um, this is the wallflower paper stack too and I'm just going to go right to the edge. Oop, hopefully, you don't need to be zoomed in for this. It's just better if I don't zoom because I, I don't know, I, I forget I'm zoomed and then I don't like it. And this is the same way you would do um, dominoes or anything, just... Um, Yeah, that's been drying for a while. So that's a tile. And this is a tile. So I'm going to go away and I'm going to cut out all these tiles. And I'm going to come back when I'm gluing my um, burlap onto my frame. We're going to go walk the doggy. Because she's been staring at us for a while. Um, but yeah, so, so basically... I'm going to have at least 34. I think I used all the different um, tiles. And I mean, this could go sideways or forward. So see, that's the idea. I think it's going to look pretty cool. I was going to buy, they have a burlap frame that's just burlap wrapped. It's a frame wrapped in burlap. Um, but I thought I can make it look good enough with a dollar frame and... Um, some burlap so I mean I'm and I'm not even positive about the burlap I also have this paper this is a um, Prima paper and it's kind of like a burlap pattern I don't know if you can tell that I like the darkness of the burlap on here but I might cut this into two inch strips and see what that looks like because that could look pretty nice too and it would just be easier to do paper so I haven't quite decided, um, but I'm going to cut that into two inch strips and I'll be back and show you what I decided. Okay, I decided to go with the burlap. So I cut the burlap, but I'm going to, I'm just going to um, put a little bit of this um, gold, it's just called gold, ink of gold. I'm just kind of putting a little bit here and there and this is the back of the frame actually which doesn't you know really matter but I just want to hit it here and there with some I don't know why some gold because I'm putting it on the edges and I'm putting it around the inside and I just thought it would look cool if I put it around the whole thing just I would have dry brushed it but then I thought well let me just do it with my finger and just make it look kind of rustic so 
I really am not worried about the front because the whole front should be covered but I did put it um, here on the inside and here so you can kind of see it's just hit and miss there so I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac I love Fabri-Tac it's a great glue and we're going to adhere the, the pieces of burlap I cut it to the full length I decided I didn't want the edges showing at first I had left some brown showing and I was going to do it like that but then I decided nah I want the whole thing to look burlap and I'm going to do it like this so I'm going to just use this I also pulled some um, Tim Holtz I guess it's ideology is that what his like um, this type of stuff is called I didn't have a lot I don't I did, really didn't have very much because I've used it all um, but any metal pieces is what I'm talking about um, I'm gonna see like these these are gonna be cool these could fill a space I'll show you all right so I'm just gonna go I really don't want this to um, like squish out from the back so I'm hoping I I just put a nice even coat on and I'm gonna round the corners after it like it's on here but I do think I want to round the corners I want to make sure that it's going to see that's a thin one this one yeah I'm gonna if it hangs over a little bit that's better than not so I'm gonna do that I decided yeah so I cut four more pieces and I cut them to from the edge to here I think it was about just over five and a half a tiny bit over just because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have a gap and I'm gonna do my best to butt it right up against there. That looks pretty good. And I will have a burlap frame when I get this done. Um, what else? I guess. I mean, I could go away and come back. You don't have to see me do this whole thing. Uh, I'll show you one more thing, and then I'll go away and finish, and I'll come back. You know what? I just want to put a little bit more. Make sure that stays down. I'm just using my fingers to make sure that it's like butt right up against the edge of the frame. Because um, I have these. This is, I just wanted to show you this. I, I've cut out all the other tiles. They're all cut out. They're kind of all around my desk because I, um... So I wanted to show you this one. I didn't get the glue there's a there's a triangular space there where there's no glue and it kind of looks like the the glass cracked I'm probably still going to use the tile but FYI you just want to make sure you have color I mean color glue all over the tile so that you don't get that look but for the most part I did good I have um, a nice selection of tiles and I cut them all out and all I did was take my tonic scissors and it kind of sounds crunchy when you when you're cutting the um, the hardened glossy accents, but just go right up against the tile. And I'm using my tonic scissors, my Tim Holtz scissors. And there you go. Then you have a tile. So I only have one more left to cut out. This little piece of map. And there's a little extra. And that's it. So 
very simple and now I have all these tiles to work with but like I have a couple like a lock I have a few things that I'm gonna see if I can put in there but if not it'll look nice with just the tiles I um, think I'm gonna go away and I'll be back now you know what this will take two seconds what the heck oh I don't want to do that I want to do this I'm like really shaky I had a couple of iced coffees. I like to make my own with um, the Starbucks Via iced coffee and I drank a whole one today. I feel really shaky. I love iced coffee though. I don't know why. I'm, I think I'm addicted to it. Might as well. Whoopsie, now I messed that up. I'll put a tile over it. Actually, that's fine. There we go. So I have a burlap frame and I'm just going to trim the corners I like that make sure we're going the right way the whole the um, peg goes there so good. Now, I think I'm going to still use the Fabri-Tac. Should I use the Fabri-Tac? Because this is fabric, okay? So I think this, I think I am going to use this to glue my tiles down. So let's see what I have here. I have, I definitely want to use these flowers. I just think they're super pretty. Um, I like the bugs. And I I really like this bird but it's kind of got messed up so I don't I put aside a couple of the big ones because I just think they're gonna take up too much space um, I like this one Nah, we'll see all right I have some mediums I think this is might be the only big one I use um, but I like the flowers and the birds. I'm disappointed in that one, but I think it, look, this one looks so cool. Ritz Theater, it's like a ticket stub. Um, I got another bird. Oops. I like these, these were cool. These just look like tiles, like um, pattern tiles. So that's kind of different. But I think I wanna pull all my little ones and fill it up with as many little ones as I can and then see if I can fit the big ones. So when I was digging through my Tim Holtz stuff I found some more ocean theme stuff. Um, Alright, so this should be enough and I'm thinking I don't have to um, fill every place. That's my thought anyway. I don't think that I have to have every space filled so we'll see um, I'm, I'm liking that and I have I don't know if I'm gonna put the round things on here I might um, I have a compass I could put something in the middle of the compass I have these corner pieces which I really like so I might put a corner piece just to have it um, as a, as a decoration, we'll see, um, but let me just start putting these tiles, see this is the same picture, that's what I was telling you, just in a different, like, size print, so it's the same picture, I didn't really realize that I had two of them, I like the roses, I don't have a lot of roses, and I love the birdies. This I might have two of too, in a smaller size. Um, no, I don't. I like the bugs. See, look, I have little bugs. 
that's not gonna fit shoot 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 and I have just like these I, I guess they're like industrial right what was the other name of it crowded attic I don't know I guess it's stuff that you find in the attic um, so I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna come back with when I have it kind of placement where I think it's gonna look good and I'll be right back okay it's done this was really hard you guys it took me so long um, I just kept going back and forth and back and forth um, but I'm done. I have this many tiles left. Two really big ones. One medium big one. And then that many. So, not bad. Um, I, think, I think I like the... I think it turned out pretty good. Um, the composition, that's what I was going to say. Uh, I added... In all the blank spaces, I really didn't have that many um, Tim Holtz stuff. I have the arrow. I think that's like it. That's pretty much it. I was going to add um, the lock, like one of them, a keyhole. Um, I have all these words. I have a lot. These are Prima. I was going to add um, live the life you imagine. I had a key. I had a lot of stuff. But it, it, as it turned out, I think I went with, um, I just wanted to use mostly tiles. And then I filled in any little nooks and crannies with some type of a finding, a metal piece, or I used only two pieces of clay with the gold leafing on it here and here. Um, I added some bling. I like this big bling. It's a little, it's a little wet. I used my um, Fabri-Tac glue because I was gluing it on to the burlap, and you can't really see the burlap now. Um, you know, there's some there, and I mean, it is on the edges. The, the sides have the brown with the gold. I kind of like it because it's shiny, like the plastic tiles make it look shiny. Oh, here's fun. I did use fun. Um, so I'll show you. I used, these are jewelry findings. This butterfly and I have this butterfly. I just turned it sideways. This is one of those charms that I got and I used on, um, I used most of them on the, uh, the shore themed frames I did or the ocean themed. This is like, this was a jewelry finding too. It came in a, it's like a, I think they're sl called slides. They have like four holes. And then I just, that just fit, per but they're square. So they're perfect for a little tile. And then this was the very last thing I put on and I love it. I think it's just perfect. I put four little spacer beads here. Um, I told you the bling, there's a tiny little bling there. And that's about it. The rest is all tile. They have a tiny bling there. So I think if you guys aren't into polymer clay, and you could do art tiles, you could do a lot of different things. But I kind of like it. I think it turned out cool. So we'll see. I'm going to bring it to the craft show. And, um, yeah, I like that I brought the burlap all the way to the edge so you can see it a little bit. I mean, I tried to push the tiles to the edge as best I could, but you can see it. And then I definitely golded it up with my um, Inca Gold. I think I'll put a little more on before I uh, seal the back because the back gets a little cruddy when I'm, I have a little bit of glue here and there. That's it. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.